Okay, just a report about the upcoming days. Assessing your tshuva are days that are very powerful. They're days that are not sad days, but they're powerful days. They're not days one wants to miss. I want to tell you something about the assessing your tshuva. The Mishra brings this idea. Who is this? Every day in the year has a spiritual root of the day. The, the roots of all the days of the year are within a series of tshuva. What that means is like this. Sunday of a series of tshuva is the root of every Sunday over the past year. The roots of all those Sundays are in Sunday of a series of tshuva. Monday is the root of all the Mondays into a series of tshuva. That Monday is not one Monday, it's 50 Mondays compressed into one day. Tshuva, Shabbos. Maybe some guys had difficulty on Shabbos. Maybe things happened in act by accident on Shabbos. This Shabbos, this Shabbos is what? Well, it's not a Shabbos. It's 50 Shabboses. You can keep 50 Shabboses this week. Shabbos over here is fit. The whole Shabbos is of the entire past year compressed into this coming Shabbos. That's a Shabbos of a Seres Mechuba. The Rashiba reminded itself from Baltimore used to say you can accomplish in a Seres Mechuba in a few hours what could take months over the, over the year. It's compressed into a short time. It's a little bit intense, but it's happy. You can do so much. I want to take one step further. Imagine you have now Shabbos, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all those days are 50 50. You take that entire week, there's always seven full days between Rosh and Kippur. You take that entire week, which is the root of the, of the whole year, you compress that whole week into one day, that's Yom Kippur. Imagine the power of Yom Kippur, the Daven Yom Kippur, the Mincha they say before Yom Kippur is atones for every Mincha of the year. The benching that you do for the meal, for the Sudam of Sekis, is the, the benchings of the year. The matter of the shafness, the fa- everything, not eating, it tells for all the eatings of the year. The entire year is compressed into one day of Yom Kippur. Now, one more thing. You take the Yom Kippur and you compress, it's already a whole year worth, and you compress the entire day into one hour. That's Ne'ilah. Sometimes by Ne'ilah already tired, hot, you're hungry, you've been standing, you've been fasting, you've been davening. The Mishra says, now is the time. Now is the time you got to be even stronger. Now is the time it's, you don't feel well. Now is the time. You've got the entire year compressed into one hour during the Hila. The level a person could attain during the Hila is immense. A person could, could achieve closeness to Hashem during the Hila that could take him months. Could take him a half a year. Could be done here in 20 minutes. In the last few minutes of Yom Kippur, you see the sun is setting, you have to grab the moment. A person has to, who can think of food during that time? Your closeness to God is so powerful. What is available for you to accomplish during that time is, is, is so powerful. Uh, that's a time that a person should, should take on to himself, perhaps chew off things that he's done, a Kabbalah, something about the next year. He's, the Siyat Vishmai a person could get. The closeness a person could achieve, the cleaning a person could do to his neshama during that hour is unbelievable. These year, these days coming up, people make a mistake sometimes. They think Yom Kippur is you cry and it's sad, and neshama, you cry. It's not, it's not sad, Adarava. It's the opposite. Yom Kippur is the happiest, the best day of the year, the happiest day of the year. I say it's is a very happy time. It's a very, it's a powerful time. It's not a time to play around. It's a time to do something with it. Besimcha, there's so much that you can do during a series of tshuva. It's a time that you have the right to ignore what you did in the past. I'm starting now. I messed up this Shabbos. It's a new Shabbos. All 50 Shabbos are happening this Shabbos. The whole year happening on Yom Kippur. Happening during the Elah. It's a time when we can accomplish, when we can fix everything. Of course it's a happy time. You can get a closeness to God that you can't get the rest, of the rest of the year. This is what the upcoming days are about. It's a days of accomplishments, days of simcha. I agree, some people, it's very intense. Somewhat it is, yes, yeah. Sometimes a little bit intense. A little bit intense, not too intense. Not something that's going to make a person nervous. A little bit it could be intense, but it should be only because it's going to be used properly. And it'd be done with simcha shal mitzvah. But a person who uses these days of aseris and tshuva, of Yom Kippur, of Ne'ilah, the levels he can achieve are, are almost unparalleled, unmatched. Which I'll be zoche to use the days that are coming, that are coming, we should be used to, to use them well, and we should all achieve a, 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 a tahara, purity, and a, a tshuva that God wants of us. 
and the closeness to Hashem that Hashem wants to come, He wants to come to us more than we want to go to Him. We shall be so clear to use things properly and to achieve levels that we can achieve, and we shall have a Ksiva of Chasimatov.